Last year, the San Francisco startup Allbirds released a shoe it calls the Wool Runner. This eco-friendly merino wool sneaker has since exploded in popularity, especially in the Bay Area, where it's become something of a staple in the Silicon Valley uniform. And this week, Allbirds is unveiling its second product, the Wool Lounger. Allbirds gave us a pair to test, and true to the company's core philosophy, they are very comfortable. They're also surprisingly durable. They do get soggy in the rain, but unlike a pair of canvas sneakers, they dry out in a matter of hours. Plus, the moisture-wicking properties of Merino has kept them remarkably stank-free for more than 100 miles of sock-free walks through San Francisco. All of which is pretty impressive, especially for such a simple-looking shoe. There's an irony, I think. We've created a product that looks like it could have been designed in two minutes. Of course, it took a little longer than that. Designing a laceless shoe out of merino wool actually required thousands of hours of sketching and hundreds of prototypes. And I think you could argue that, yes, our products are kind of austere, but I think they're also an exercise in maximalism, you know, and that we're, 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 we're truly celebrating the wool and letting that be, be, be all that we make a noise about. The earliest mock-ups descended from martial arts slippers, the kind of thing you might have seen Bruce Lee wear. But the shoe evolved quickly from there, with the designers obsessing over every last detail. We thought like we were letting ourselves off the hook by relying on this kind of gaudy, over-the-top gusset, and we challenged ourselves to do better. This one didn't offer us the kind of support that we were looking for, especially around the back of the shoe. So we make this, you know, big jump towards a slipper form, which was a breakthrough, um, a seemingly obvious one in hindsight, but then the challenge was to make this thing not look like a slipper. Starting to really zoom in on the detail, we've got the, the seams all in the appropriate places. And uh, we, we'd arrived at this pure, simple form. But it feels like a, like a familiar object that owns a, a different occasion than the runner. And the really like the final sort of icing on the cake was to take this away from greys and browns and from contrast soles into this blocked colour. And that's been a really important sort of final little signature on, on a product that I think has been incredibly painful to create, but something that I think we're really proud about. 